Tim Alden here again. We're back for our second session of the cow tag blanks. We got a little uh, daisy floral pattern we're gonna carve for you today on these cow tags and hope you like it. And once again, I've put packing tape on my paper that you just print off your computer. It uh, laminates it, but keeps it soft enough that you can transfer your pattern. This one's got a border around it. So we're gonna go ahead and trace the pattern on there minus the border. We're gonna just go ahead and cut that in. So we're gonna go ahead and mark the top one. These cow tags make great gifts. Keychains, put brands, initials, even had a few people ask for earrings out of them. So now that we got our flower traced on there, we're going to use our easy border cutter to cut that border. You can get these on our website. Real easy, just loosen up the set screw and adjust the blade to whatever width you want. We're going to check that out. That should be pretty good. We're going to go a little bit smaller. As long as the tool is square to the leather, it cuts a real nice clean border. You don't want to cut too far in the corners. And always mark where it's going to be on this side and cut to that corner if you're worried about overcutting it. Come up to the top there. Stick your thumb down there. It's kind of a stop that way you don't cut too far. You can go ahead and cut the top line with a ruler here. Okay, so once we've got our border cut, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these petals out. Might be more of a daisy than a sunflower. The flower center is pretty small for a sunflower. I have to do it in white and yellow. Know what color daisies are, Aaron? White, I think. White with yellow flower center? Okay. Shasta daisies. Shasta daisies. Rubber daisies come in all kinds of colors pinks and purples. And... Okay. So once we got our petals cut out there and flower center, I'm just going to roll around Sorry. number one checkered Berry King Beveler. These little petals on the side scoot under the border.
go ahead and grab our big beveler for the border. Okay, now that we've got all our beveling done, go ahead and use our bigger background on this. Okay, now that we've got our background undone, we come in here with our smooth pear shader. Shade these. Shade all the way out. on the outside of the petals. Okay, we're going to come back with our beveler, pick some of these up again that we kind of squished down. Okay, go ahead and run our veiner. Our dominant petals. Like that. Come back with our blind cedar. I'll kind of work my way around the outside, tipping it to the outside. And do one right in the middle. Go ahead and do our dress cuts. Once again, we're going to cut these. Flower center out. Since these petals are pretty narrow, you're not going to get very many cuts in there. About three or four. There you have a flower.
go ahead and paint our daisy here. Start off with our white. Their brushes are a little harder to control, so I just get your standard craft brushes, Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Try to put a light coat. We're going to go ahead and rinse off our brush. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and paint this flower center yellow. Okay, so we're just going to leave that and I wouldn't worry about all these little cracks in between because when we antique over the top of it, it's going to fill those gaps and it'll look nice. But if you wanted to, you could probably put a second coat of the white on there once it's dry. I'd call it good there. Main thing is, is we want to let this paint dry overnight. That way we don't wipe it off when we do the antiquing. So we let our paint dry overnight. We just really want to get a hard coat on that. We're going to go ahead and antique these. First thing this morning, I came in and I hit them with a coat of Phoebing Sadillac just to seal everything. That way the antique doesn't penetrate too far. And that way you get antique instead of dye. So go ahead and just rub this on just like all the other projects. And in there, grab our paper towels. Go ahead and let that dry for at least a few hours or overnight if you have the opportunity to let it dry a little bit longer but in the summertime you can just set it outside and it'll be dry in an hour or so. Let those guys dry and we'll come back and hit them with a coat of Sadillac to seal the antique. Well thanks for stopping by. Hope you like these cow tag earring patterns. You can download them on the website for free. See you next time. <laughs>